Today, I'm excited to be unboxing the Casio W800H, the winner of the Watch of the Week community poll. Thank you to all of you who voted and to Media Player for recommending this watch. <laughs> Let's take a look inside the box of the W800H. There she is. Wow. Now, just before we go any further, you're probably wondering what makes this watch the modder's paradise. Great question. Well, as it turns out, this W800H actually has two hidden features which for some reason are not enabled by default. But don't worry, because some crafty individuals have discovered that it's possible to take the watch apart and modify the internals with a soldering iron to enable these features. To be clear, this is a risky mod that actually could break the watch. So I've decided that I'll wear it for watch of the week first, and after one week we will attempt this mod. So I would advise you to ensure that you are a subscriber so that you don't miss out when we do attempt our mod on this watch. Now with that said, let's open this bad boy. So let's have a look here. On the tag, very prominently, we can see that it has a 10 year battery life and is 100 meters water resistant. Now, what do we have on this label? Nothing but the actual full model number, just indicating the color variant that we have here. And now for the most satisfying part of all. Oh yeah. Straight off the bat, you'll note that this watch has four silver pushes, which is my preference considering some of the less feature-packed Casios, such as this Casio Bumblebee, tend to only have three. But this is still a fantastic watch, and if you want to see our review of that one, check it out above. Elsewhere on the watch, we have a stainless steel case back and a black plastic buckle with the Casio logo featured on it. Now there is a number of different colorway options for the W800H, though I sure am glad to have picked this one with this nice blue border. Now the size of the display itself really is quite generous, isn't it? And the digits are nice and large, and there's still plenty of room for other things like the day of the week, the year, month and day, as well as indicator signals for other functionalities. Let's have a look at some of the different modes we've got here. We have an alarm which we can also turn on signal and snooze. Then we've also got a stopwatch. Now, you know here at Goat Reviews, we are gonna try and land this on exactly 10 seconds. And if we do, you have to ram that like button. <laughs> so here we go. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, 10 oh nine. that's pretty good guys. You know what to do. And after the stopwatch we have the dual time mode, which is pretty handy. It means we can store two time zones at once. And after that, we are back to the home menu, guys. So that means there is only three official modes with this watch. But remember, once we mod it, we are going to unlock another one. Now let's check out the backlight of the W800H. And since it's right here, I may as well compare it with this Casio Bumblebee. So let's shut the lights off. And, oh, wow. That is nice and legible in the dark. So for comparison, here's that. Oh man, yeah, look at how crappy that one is. The Casio Bumblebee has got nothing in comparison to the W800H. Now I am super excited to get this bad boy on my wrist, but first I would like to measure it. And to do so, we are gonna debut this new digital caliper set, which I picked up on AliExpress for just a couple of bucks. So let's bust it open. Okay, now, does it have batteries? Uh oh. Oh man. Okay, let me see if I've got any batteries. Hopefully I do. Yes, I've found one, which means we are in business. So let's get this little screen sticker off and let's see how this works actually. So can I just, yeah, so it's all, it's all just automatic. I don't have to do anything. So let's see how wide this watch is, guys. Place your bets down in the comments because it does look quite thick to me. So, we are looking at 13.3 millimeters, or in inches for you Americans, 0.52 inches. So quite a thick watch we have here. Make sure you check the description below for the best price I could find for both the digital caliper set and for this Casio W800H. 
All right, let's get this bad boy on my wrist. And at the moment, we are wearing the CA53W calculator watch. And this one was another fantastic Watch of the Week episode if you want to check that one out. Oh, yeah. That is a very nice size and quite comfortable. Actually, maybe I've got that on, I think, one too tight. Let's maybe loosen that up by one. Yeah, that's better. And uh, yeah, very happy with the appearance and feel of this. And for the record, my wrist is 6.75 inches. As part of Watch of the Week, I'll of course be wearing the W800H for the next seven days and report back to you with my findings. And remember, we're also going to be modding this watch, so make sure you're a subscriber with notifications on. Well, that's all we've got time for, but here's another amazing episode to keep you going, and here is our Watch of the Week playlist. An enormous shout out to our Goat Crew channel members, and if you'd like to see your name up here, or even just support the channel, here's our Patreon page, or else click the join button below this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next review.